Now, one thing I can do is I can actually also, uh, there's under the More button, is I can do like send him a file. So if I wanted to send him a file, I could do it that way. Instead of doing an email thing, I can instantly send it to him. Um, and that way he can have the file, then he can edit it for me in Photoshop, and then he can Skype me back, and then send me the file back when he's done. And so that can be a great little resource for you as well. So we got video phoning. We could have also done just audio. Let me turn the video, hit the video button here. Now you stop seeing me, but you can hear me, right? Yes. So that way I turned off the video. So if I need to pick my nose for a second, but you know, I don't want Brandon to, to see me doing that. Uh, but if I actually hit, oh no, I actually hit the button. Sorry about that, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's why you can turn the video off temporarily if you need to. And there's a mute button down here. So if you do this, you click that little button, it'll mute it. So if you know you got to sneeze for a second, you can mute that. Or you got to stop to yell at the dog. Stop chewing up the remote again. <laughs> Brandon's playing with my mind here a little bit. <laughs> Not hard to do, really. Yeah, you make it so fun, Dealey. <laughs> it's good seeing you again, Brandon. We got to get you back on the sh we got to get you back on the show. Hey, yeah, I mean there's uh, tons of new screen recording features and stuff that the new uh, Snow Leopard has built in, so Yeah, you could do you some little know. video, yeah, Photoshop tips or something like that and then we could put them on the show and share some more tips for you guys. Well, uh, I got to go, so but uh, it's good chatting with you. We'll keep in touch, all right? Take care, Brandon. Now, one thing I do want to point out to you a little bit of some of the settings you can do. You may worry about people being able to, to call you, uh, but one of the things you can do is under Skype Preferences, great little set of tools in here, is that you can actually adjust things. Now, if your camera's not working or your audio's not working, you can come in here and you can choose where you want, if you want to choose a different microphone, you can. You can choose that. Same thing for the video. You can choose a different camera if you have more than one. You can also preview your camera a little bit and see if it works and then angle it a little better if you want to. But then there's the file transfers, save them directly to downloads file, or you can say wherever, automatically accept files or only from contacts on my list, that sort of thing. But under privacy, that's the key thing you may want, is to allow calls only from people in my contact list. That way only people that you've added in can do it. So you can have them email you their Skype ID, and then they can only be able to call you if you actually add them into your contact list. So that can be a way to give you a little sense of security and privacy that not just anybody's gonna be able to call you. Unlike your landline phone, where someone can call you and solicit you to give money to some political campaign or something like that, or this is a way for you to be automatically on a do not call. Nobody can call you until you add them in. So they send you an email with their, with their Skype ID, boom, you add them in, and then you can just do free calls. You can also do free video calls and you can also share your screen. Now this is a great tool, particularly in, if you do any kind of tech troubleshooting like I do, is that someone can share their screen with me and then I can walk them through what they need to do. And then I can share my screen and show them, here's what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do, and then they can do it on their screen. So we stop the video, we can still he hear each other talk, but our video is now each other's computer screen. So they can see what I'm doing and then they can try to do it on their computer. And that can be a really valuable tool and save people from having to travel long distances in order to help each other out with technology. But if you don't have a friend that has the answers, you can always ask your questions at, ask, at questions at askthetechies.com. We love hearing from you about your questions or tips, suggestions. If you have a question about Skype or anything, let us know. Thanks for watching.